Hi guys, I'm back with another garage sale haul. So if you're interested in what I picked up this past weekend, then stick around. Okay, so garage sales. I love them. We've had quite a few this past weekend. I think I stopped at about three or four and I picked up some pretty good items. So I'm just going to jump right in because I don't want to make this a super long video for you guys. The first thing I found at the very first garage sale um, was this Bagolini backpack purse thing. So backpack, it can unzip into two different straps. It's in really great condition. There's no issues to it. I don't think she even really used it that much because it's just really clean on the inside. So I picked that up for $5. I haven't done a whole lot of research on the backpack style, but my Bagalinis, anytime I pick them up, I, I grab them when they're in great condition. Anytime I listen, they sell within about two to three weeks. So I suggest grabbing Bagalinis if the price is really good. It's got a cute little front like stash pocket right there. So yeah, that was a good pickup. I liked that one. She had a few other bags and they just, she was asking too much for the other ones. So I did grab that. So that was the very first garage sale item. And I think it was a good find. So the next garage sale, as I was walking up to it, I heard the person manning the garage sale um, say to a shopper that the, all the clothing items were $2. So I just started going through the clothes, found some fun items. This one just felt really nice. It kind of had that like warm layer kind of feel to it. <laughs> and then as I examined it, I was right about what I thought it was. And it's Patagonia. It is a Capeline. It's called the performance base layer. And it has like a turtleneck, this fun little vine floral type print to it. But not, you know, this isn't going to go for as much as like most of the other Patagonia items will go for, but I've sold these in the range of like 25 to 35. So that's what I'm going to list that one for. That same garage sale in the very back of all the clothes, I saw this sweater and it does have some staining right here that I need to treat and then throw this in a wash of wool light to try to get that out but this one is Icelandic design yes and this is a size medium this is a really nice cable knit zip up sweater I know that last fall and winter the like Nordic sweaters were doing really well I've sold some Dale of Norway I've sold um which I'm gonna put a video up here I had some really great <laughs> Dale of Norway sweaters that I found at the thrift store sell. So I'm gonna link that video there because those are really, really fun. I did a lot of research on them, found some awesome information. So if you wanna go check that video out, but these were selling really great this past winter. I don't know if it's gonna be the trend again, but you know, I figured for $2, I would take the chance on that one. Like I said, it does have that front zip cardigan and then hopefully that stain right there comes out, but we'll see. And then the last thing I got from that estate sale was this tank, this one is a mountain hardware and I'm actually going to try it on. If it fits me, I'll keep it. If not, I'll probably list it for about 20, 25 and see how it does. But it's just one of those, you know, built in shelf bra hiking tanks. So yeah, that one was a nice find too. So that was about $6 at that garage sale that I found those three items paid for those. Um, the next one I came across the next garage sale I came across, they had tons of different items, clothing items, kids, adults, toddlers, baby, everything. And I just, as I was walking in and I saw the clothes, I just asked how much they were. And they said about a dollar to $2 per piece. So all of these, I think I paid $2 a piece for. And so I found these are Prana. They're kind of like a nice, like wicking type hiking material. And these are a women's shorts. Um, again, the brand Prana. And then those were a size small, kind of that like Bermuda short style with a little 
Prana tag logo on the side. And then the next item is this is Athleta and it's a nice big oversized sweatshirt with a nice cowl neck. And then the tag, these Athleta tags always get flipped up. Do you, I don't know if you guys always notice that same issue, but this one's a size large. And then I kind of want to try this one on because I just love these oversized sweatshirts in the winter. That and a pair of jeans and like little booties. Oh, that's, that's like my staple outfit during the fall. But so that was the second item I grabbed. And then I grabbed this. It is smart wool and it's just a little base layer top, tank top. The interesting thing about this, and I'll show you in a second. So this is smart wool size medium. This has a savers tag on it. So I noticed going through a lot of these clothes that there were maybe half of the items in this pile had savers tags on them. So I guess this person was a big thrifter. I don't know if they were trying to do any kind of like reselling online. I have no idea, but it was just a big yard sale of clothes and lots of other items. They didn't just have clothes, but I noticed a lot of thrift store tags. So, um, so I paid $2 for that one. Also, I did check it all over for holes. Smart wool is really hole prone. So you have to check really diligently and I didn't see any, so we'll see. This isn't gonna, again, it's not gonna sell for, you know, 50 bucks or anything, but if I can get $20 out of it, I feel like that would be really great. Next at the same garage sale, I found this American Eagle sweatshirt pullover. American Eagle isn't a big seller for me, but I just felt like the style was nice. It has this front tie, it's kind of a cropped. It's a good size, it's a medium. Actually, it's a large, and so, that's why I picked that one up. Really great condition. It looks like it's probably been like worn once or twice. It still has that really nice, like new feel to it. So the next item from this garage sale, this one is Zella. And then this is another one of those oversized kind of sweatshirt material, long tops. It does have the, these front like kangaroo pockets there. Do they go through? No, they're just pockets. Nope, that does. That's a kangaroo pocket. It goes all the way through. So that's another one that I'm thinking I might try on between this one and that Athleta. This one is a size medium. And that's the tag for Zella. It's a little hard to see it. There we go. You can kind of see it. So again, probably listed in that like 25 to 30 range. And then I do like to list my items a little bit high so that I could entertain offers. But if something sells for full price, yeah, I'll take it. The last thing I got from that garage sale was this shirt and it was still in the dry cleaner bag. And I looked it all over because I was thinking it was, if it was in the dry cleaner bag and they were selling it at a garage sale that maybe it had a stain, I didn't see one anywhere on it. And I don't know if I'm gonna see some come up on the light as I'm recording this, but I don't still don't see any. So this is a Ted Baker. And it's a size three. And if I'm correct, size three is a large, a men's large. So that was great. That was a really good find, a Ted Baker for $2 at a garage sale. So all of these items ended up being $2 a piece. I still think that was a great price. And then the last, oh, there it is. The last um, garage sale I went to, I couldn't find very much. They didn't have a whole lot of items. But what I did find was this um, Fossman dual conductive charging station. And I didn't know what it was. It was still in the box. So I looked it up on eBay and apparently what this is is for like game systems. So Xbox, things like that. It's like a charging station for your remotes. And these are going on eBay for about $35. I paid $1.50 for this. So I was really happy about that. And we'll see if it sells. So yeah. So it wasn't some crazy awesome haul of garage sale items, but I do believe that I would pick up any of these from the thrift store any day. And for $2 a piece on average, I'm really happy with what I found. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys find anything great at garage sales? Do you even like to shop at garage sales? Do you like to stick to thrift stores? Are you a bins picker? I would love to know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope I'll see you guys around in the future.
Thanks. Bye.